many of my French audience found interesting my first video about moustache tech. There are actually plenty of resources available presenting the basics in English, so I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. Thus, I'm sharing two simple modifications I've made to my T-Beam, as I believe it will help and inspire current and future T-Beam owners. The first modification is the addition of a temperature sensor. Riddle time! What do the T-Echo module and T-Beam Supreme have in common, aside from not being related to the skateboard brand both incorporate a BME 280 sensor. This increases the price and having tried both models, I can already tell you that the temperature readings from this model are not accurate. This is due to the sensor's location, close to other components, emitting heat and screwing the measurements. I haven't found yet it is possible to add an offset to compensate for this. The advantage of doing the installation ourselves is being able to place the temperature probe away from any heat source that could distort our measurements. This table shows all the sensors supported by MeshTastic firmware. I have opted for BMP280, which is less expensive because it lacks a humidity sensor. For installing a BME or BMP sensor, it is necessary to use the GPIO SDA and SLC ports to establish a serial data line communication, commonly called I2C. On the T-Beam, it's a bit special because if, like me, you have a screen, you will need to solder the module to the same ports. I initially soldered the wires but had some false contacts, so I prefer to replace them with connectors, allowing me to plug in Dupont cables also used in prototyping boards. You can adapt the installation to accommodate your housing. Once installed, you will need to navigate to the application setting and then to module configuration to go into telemetry, sensor, here we can choose the measurement frequency and their transmission over the network. Finally, you will need to activate the module in the sensor option. It is up to you if you want also to display the information on the screen and possibly convert it to Fahrenheit. Here is a demonstration. Once the module is turned on, it takes a few seconds before getting the first measurement displayed on the screen. Similarly, to check the value in the application, it's possible to consult all the nodes with an environmental sensor. The second modification, and to my knowledge, there isn't commercially available module already equipped with a small active buzzer. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. This one is very simple to set up since it only requires two GPIO ports. I choose to use port 13 and ground outline in red, but also could be used too. Here is the result. It's still a test board and I don't plan to integrate it into a case anytime soon. However, if you wish to add the buzzer to a casing, I recommend using relatively long wires to not be annoyed by its placement. Like for the temperature probe, you will now need to activate the buzzer in the settings via the application under external notification. You will need to activate as shown the button and then specify the used GPIO port. Here is 13. I must specify that I had to use an Android smartphone to limit the duration of the ringtone.
with the iPhone application, I wasn't able to do it. But keep in mind, it's still possible to stop the ringtone by pressing the function button. I find this mode really useful because I usually turn off all my notification on my iPhone. At least in this case, the node will have its independent notification system always turned on. We've reached the end of this video and I hope these two modifications have inspired you and dissuaded you from spending more money on the two other models, which is in my opinion do not offer the greatest interest for Meshtastic compared to the T-Beam. However, the T-Supreme and T-Eco are soft RF compatible hardware making them ideal for airplane pilots as they can be used as an anti-collision system.